G'day everyone, welcome to the Aquamate channel. We are gonna be looking at some different species of fish. So this is an Aquamate species care guide. So in today's species spotlight, we're gonna be looking at the black neon tetra. Black neon tetras are from the Amazon River and they are a bit bigger than some of their cousins, like the neon tetras. Uh, they're probably more the same sort of size and shape as the cardinal tetra. They get their name, the black neon tetra, because they have the same sort of patterns as a neon tetra, except the blue is black and the red is more of a blue-green line. Another cool thing with these guys is they have red or orange eyes and it really stands out. When I was growing up, I used to have a lot of glow light tetras. To me, they sort of act exactly the same as the black neons. I've only had these guys for oh, almost a year now, but they are a very peaceful, very chilled fish and they love just living in the middle of your aquarium. I've noticed having mine in a large tank, they've got to about two, maybe just over two inches. And the females definitely show they are a lot larger, they're a lot fatter, have bigger bellies for those eggs, and the males are a bit skinnier and smaller. They have a pretty good temperature range, ranging from around the 23 degrees to 28 degrees, uh, so they are seen in a lot of different types of aquariums. Minimum tank size would have to be a 10 gallon. They are only a little fish, but as with a lot of little fish, especially pretty much all tetras, you don't want to just buy one or two or three. You want to have a group of them. So have at least six, but preferably 10 or more would be ideal. So a 10 gallon tank or 40 litre tank for those down under. pH levels, I'd say somewhere between six and seven and a half. They're pretty hardy fish and they're pretty solid. If you're looking to keep black neon tetras, you could keep them with other live bearers, with tetras, quarry cats. Uh, some dwarf rainbows and pretty much I would say angelfish would be alright and garamis so there's a lot of options out there and they're pretty decent sized and tough fish so they can sort of hold their own but again you don't want to put them with anything too big that's going to predate them at all. So there's a quick little video about the black neon tetra. I got them to put them in a smaller tank. It didn't work out. I had them in with a breeding pair of Crobenzis. I lost one within about 15 minutes. So I quickly had to change my plans. I put them in the community tank out in the lounge room, the large four foot tank, and they have grown so much and they get along with all the other fish in there. So they're slowly becoming one of my favorites. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell. It really helps me out. But until then, if you get new fish, always acclimate them first. I'm Josh from Aquamate. I'll see you soon.